All right, so the idea of this is actually just to give you about two minutes of science, kind of condensed down, as if I was going to lecture to my students, to give them the basis as far as where we left off. And one of the things that we were discussing at that point in time was genetics. And you can't really focus on genetics without talking specifically about, of course, the structure of DNA. And everybody knows that it's a double helix that winds around itself. But whenever I was a kid, and I remember this vividly of trying to picture in my mind what these things called histones were. And the way it was explained to me was that the histones were what the DNA wrapped itself around to be able to pack itself into the nucleus, considering the nucleus was so small. And there was so much DNA that it just wouldn't fit. And because it wouldn't fit, you needed these histones. And it didn't really make sense to me why you wouldn't always pack them like that. And why you would have all of this code that you couldn't actually do anything with. And it wasn't until I went through and started really understanding and taking a class in epigenetics that it all finally started to click with me. And I kind of think about it like this. Think about it like a library. This is our nucleus to be able to understand all of that. And then there's these books that have... There's money. Uh, there's books that have all of this information. This is uh, Carl Sagan's Dragons of Eden. Um, to be able to read the code, the letters inside of DNA, the A's, T's, C's, and G's. And the histones are pretty much like shutting the book, closing it up, and putting it on the shelf. And if you put it on the shelf, the gene is silenced. You can't actually read it. I mean, think about it. As far as this goes, the methylation, which is a methyl tag that most of the silencing of the DNA is, is to put that on it and then it's to wrap it tightly around these histones so it's packed and condensed. And if you had all of these books, every single one of them laid out in front of you and trying to read them all at the same time, it's too much information. It's too much code packed into one place. You can't read it. And by doing that, it's too much expression of proteins. 